down here. Um, it, it says independent scholar, but he's a poet, he's a songwriter. Uh, Robert Priest from uh, the Holy Land of Toronto, and he's going to be speaking his poems, songs, and maxims of one man's anthropocene. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm glad you brought me down here, too. It's great to be in this city. Um, Stop watch on. Oh, I'm down to seven percent. Never mind. I, I can toss out 15 minutes. Um, yes, yeah, so my deep delving into uh, the Anthropocene um, caused the writing of this piece of two nights ago. It's called Halfway. I keep moving halfway to the apocalypse. The increments so small, I can only take each moment as it comes, time very slow. I shoot past the signs, the portents disappear in the rearview mirror. I am overtaking bullets, missiles. I can actually see light's progress can dart in front of it and not get caught. Halfway through a word, and halfway through the next word, and halfway through that, I'll never finish saying I love you, but I see you and I run halfway to you and halfway again, halfway again, you are right there at the end of the world. Oh, one, oh, it was worth it. And um, this also was written, uh, I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before, but anyway, it's, it's called a erasure poem, but it isn't an erasure poem. It's called a erasure poem. So, yeah, yeah. Anyway, it is easy to erase the email with a plea to follow some friend on Spotify. Swipe left, and a little red panel with the word trash in it opens. Bye bye. Even easier for the person whose name is vaguely familiar, wanting donations for her Indiegogo campaign. I continue down the list of new arrivals, weeding out the unwanted quickly and efficiently. But I almost close my eyes and turn away when I get to the subject line reading the plan to save Brazil's bees. Same thing with the right to write, the world's largest human rights event. For a microsecond, I pause, then open the panel and proceed. No problem erasing connection requests for LinkedIn or poem of the day, but my pace quickens with the email that asks for donations toward food and water for the latest souls being herded and ethnically cleansed. I can't, I won't erase the updates on the wars in Yemen and the Sahara. These are my chosen causes. I've given before and I will again, but there are women in Iran I won't be able to help. I cannot donate to cancer research swipe. I can't donate to the victims of the earthquake in Turkey. Breathe in, breathe out, swipe. I tell myself, pick your battles. I tell myself, you can't save everyone. I tell myself, I do what I can. I tell myself, it is unproductive to feel guilty. Thank you. It's, it's October, and I committed with some other poets to writing a, a poem a day in October, and uh, I'm glad I did. You just don't know what's there sometimes. You think there's nothing there, and then there is. It might be awful, though, but it's there. Um, so I, I, I do tend to, um, in, in my generally jubilant, loving, and kind poetry, 
uh, break into complaint. Um, but as a remedy for that, I attempt to come up with imaginative solutions for some of the problems I decry. And this is the next poem results from that. It's called Idea for Genetic Engineering. What if there were a moral act orgasm? A new way to come because you stand up for a just cause. A way to come if you're whacked by a baton in a protest. A way to come wonderful if you're tear gassed and handcuffed. What if we found a gene splice to make us lust for peace in the streets like it was the love of our lives? What if only truth should get us hot and bothered? What if there were dirty little booths on Young Street where you could furtively give huge amounts of coin to charity and have an orgasm that just foams your bones? It would be so erotic to be in Doctors Without Borders. If you were a pro bono lawyer against Monsanto, you'd hardly be able to walk for the orgasms. We should be re-engineered so that the only way to really get our rocks off is to end child poverty on Earth. Thank you. Thank you very much. I do write for children as well, um, and uh, as well, I mean, you know, as proficiently and imaginatively. Um, and and so my, my most recent two books of poetry for children were celebrating, um, the first one was celebrating people who have inspired me and I think the world, um, and the second one began to be more about collectives, including sort of environmental type collectives. But this is from the first book, and it was, uh, this one is about someone who, who I was a teenager in the 60s, so um, Ali was huge, and so he was a big inspiration for me. So this is a children's poem called The Ballad of Muhammad Ali. Ali was the chin of Bam Bam Bam, the best boxer ever, and man could he dance. Plus, he was a joker and he spouted poetry. He was born in Cassius Clay but became Ali, Muhammad Ali. He laughed and he twirled. He was the Bam Bam Bam, heavyweight champion of the world. Now, in those days, blam, 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 there was a war in Vietnam. Blam, 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 it was a terrible war. A wicked war in Vietnam. And when they called Ali to go, he refused. He just said, no, I think I'll stay here where I am. I've got no quarrel with Vietnam. Why would I kill my fellow men? If you won't fight, blam, 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 you'll go to jail. Wham, wham, wham. If you don't fight for Uncle Sam, we'll lock you up in the slam, slam, slam. But he wouldn't fight, blam, blam, blam. He just said no to Uncle Sam. I think I'll stay here where I am. I've got no quarrel with Vietnam. I'm a recent convert to Islam. Why would I kill my fellow man? Ali was charged, but he wouldn't budge. He was put on trial before a judge. The gavel came down. Wham, wham, wham. Ali was free. An innocent man, he didn't have to fight in Vietnam, he didn't have to fight for Uncle Sam, but he still couldn't box. Bam, bam, bam. They wouldn't let him box, and they picked a new champ, and still there was a war in Vietnam. Still there was a war. Blam, blam, blam. Ali had to wait, this champ of the world. Down by his sides, those big fists curled. Not till the war came at last to an end would they let him fight for the prize again. Back in the ring, how good Ali felt when he fought George Torman, George Foreman and took back his belt. He darted and danced, spoke poetry and twirled. He was the king of not fighting and the heavyweight champion of the world. Um, am I going to get to some micro poems? Do I still have about half my time left? Yes, yes. It's uh, anthropocenic time anyway. It's uh, a bit smudgy. Um, so, um, 
I do this thing that I, you're familiar with gene splicing, and um, I do some meme splicing, um, where I, I um, splice stuff from one meme into another set of memes, and I just lost my thing. Um, so, in the poem I'm about to read, um, I take the word money, and I splice it into memes with the word mummy in it. And fortunately, um, there's a table of contents here. Um, this is staged, by the way, I've rehearsed this. Dick, the he acting, maybe I can't find it. Hmm. Well, money. Okay, well, I won't. It's not in this book. It explains it. Here it is with, with its marker. Euphony is the message, by the way. I, Adina, wonderful to hear the, the euphonic uh, transitions where the music leads the way or, or has a consort to the way. Euphony is the message. I often follow the music when I write, and I love that it takes us places. Money, money means spice. Just give me money! I work hard for my mummy. You need mummy to get by in this world. You have to save your mummy. Let your mummy grow, but don't let mummy take over your life. Don't get too attached to mummy. Mummy can weigh you down. Use your mummy wisely. Keep your mummy in a safe place. Mummy is just a tool. Mummy is a symbolic system. We are in a mummy-obsessed culture. Mummy hounds, slaves to mummy. We spend our whole lives scrabbling for mummy, 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 filthy mummy, bloody mummy, hypnotized by the power of big mummy. We are all in the pocket of big mummy, good mummy, bad mummy. What is this insane lust for mummy? Mummy burns a hole in my pocket. I have to go begging for mummy in the streets. I hate mummy. I reject mummy. Mummy is the root of all evil. But it is so hard to live without mummy. I'm trying to hold on to my mummy, but everybody wants my mummy. We took huge risks with our mummy and we lost. We are completely broke. We totally wasted our mummy. So I have some micro poems now for you, which I think are particularly suited to this, uh, you know, sort of chopped up age that we live in, the Anthropocene. Frag. <laughs> Disconnect. Chin. When will the spin stop and the revolution begin? Whitewash comes in many colors. The most dangerous people are the obedient. Does a fool answer rhetorical questions? Anybody? What is the word for word? Word. Maybe you should start listening to your outer child. <laughs> A soul? Asshole. <laughs> There's no camouflage like a good philosophy. Evil could do nothing without the good. Turn the other cheek or I'll turn it for you. <laughs> Love is a many-gendered thing. <laughs> Sapiens is the only species who plays cymbals. <laughs> many ointments actually require a fly. I'm so prophetic, I get pre-traumatic stress disorder. <laughs> Please do not stare at the observers. 
Would you like a little assault with that pepper spray? I can count the world on one finger. What doesn't kill me just delays the inevitable. Evil doesn't see evil in itself, only in others. You cannot kiss ass and kick it too. <laughs> the right hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing. <laughs> in my father's house are many mansions. I know. I didn't. I had hard trouble sleeping with the night I wrote that. <laughs> All words are magical. That's why they must be spelled. <laughs> All thinking is magical thinking. I'm practicing obstinance. <laughs> I strive for outer peace. Resistance is fertile. Vaginal birth, not virginal birth. <laughs> Coming to an end now, not only of this, but the Anthropocene era. We all come from the same hood, motherhood. I'm so old, I have an inner adult. <laughs> Respect your youngers. Bankrupt man. I can see into the present. I believe in life before death. People who can't thank you enough usually go on to thank you far too much. <laughs> and I'll end with, I don't need anyone to help me celebrate Interdependence Day. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. It's great to be here. Thank you.